All right, hello, uh, everyone. Um, this is going to be a brief tutorial on the H4N Pro recorder uh, for interviewing in regards to the Snowbird Day School project. Um, th there are detailed instructions on the, the Google Drive for you to follow, but I thought making a video would also be helpful because um, it's, it's an awesome recorder. Um, I think it's going to record awesome audio quality um, for the interviews but I also think that it's um, uh, more than just your basic recorder so um, I think a, a, a video tutorial will be helpful at least I hope so so th this is the recorder um, it's in a black case that says rec you know recorder on it okay it comes with a bunch of stuff in the box, uh, but this is the recorder. So that's one thing. It comes with this Movo fluffy thing. I don't know what the technical term is for it, but um, it goes over the speakers like so, um, and it improves the audio quality during an interview. So you definitely want to use it. It also comes with this, this doohickey. Um, which is just a stabilizer. You can hold it. I want to get a, a desk tripod so we don't have to hold it. We could just set it on the desk and um, use it that way. Um, but this screws into the back and I'll show you how to do that. And you just hold it and it'll sit like this. Um, so pretty cool. Um, it all, let's see, it also comes with these two black bags and each black bag is um, a lapel mic. Um, that will plug into the bottom. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, inside of the recorder already is an SD card, um, but there's another SD card in the box. And then uh, lastly is the actual manual. Um, there is another manual, um, a PDF of it, uh, that I saved online uh, into the Google Drive. So if you're gonna do the interview, and you run into any technical issues or have questions, um, you can refer to that as well. But I'm hoping this video will at least get you started. Um, and obviously I'm not an expert camera guy, so just bear with me. Um, I am wearing headphones uh, to record this video, but I, I think um, if you're running the recorder during the interview, and hopefully we'll be doing these in teams of two, one person interviewing and one person doing the technical piece, um, it's important and good to to wear the headphones, especially when you're doing the mics, because um, you can hear both people talking and you can adjust uh, the sound quality. Um, so to get started, uh, this is the recorder again. Um, what I would do is I take the fluffy piece and it fits right over top, like so. Okay. And then I would you can see on the back there's a place to screw it in. Okay. And then you have the mics. Um, and you can see on the front of this it says one and two, which is important uh, when it comes to getting power to them so that you can actually. Um, here. The first time I used this, I didn't uh, do the power right, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, and so I did an interview, and um, nothing was recorded. So you just shove them into the bottom, um, align them, and then you can clip. And there's two of them. So you want one on the interviewer, and one on the interviewee. And again, you just take it, you align these little pegs, and you push in. So to release, you'll press these metal things and pull out, like so. Um, but that's kind of your initial setup, just making sure everything's attached. You got two mics, one for the interviewer, one for the interviewee. Um, okay. So now basic, how do you get it started? Um, if you're facing it, if you're holding it up on the left side, 
is the power button. You just hold. And now the screen comes on. Okay. Uh, with an SD card inserted, you can see it's saying now loaded. So it's going to take a little bit, you know, just a minute or so to read anything that's on the SD card. So one of your first, when you get this recorder, there's two things that you should do. One is uh, check the battery power. And to do that, you turn it on. Uh, it takes AA batteries, but you can also plug this in via USB into the computer. You can also uh, plug this into a wall. Um, so if, if the batteries are low, um, at the very least, we'll have these two adapters that you can use. So you can plug into your computer or you can plug into the wall and make sure that you can record um, and this has power. Um, so now it's fully on um, and you can see in the top left hand corner, there's your battery power. Um, we have full battery, so we're good. Um, up here is the type of recording it's going to do. And you can see the red light is on for stereo. That's the mode we want to record in. That's basically the highest quality. So you don't need to do anything there. Just make sure that the red light is for stereo. Um, down here, these red lights, uh, I'll show you those in a second. Um, they are lit for one and two, meaning that as of right now, you have two mics plugged in. And in terms of recording sound, it's going to record from these mics rather than up here. Um, but this will also be recording. Okay, This is your record button. Um, and we'll talk about that in a sec. All right, so you've got your mics plugged in. You've got this on here. You're in stereo mode. you got full battery power. It's got an SD card. It'll tell you if it doesn't. Um, so initial setup, you're good to go. Um, all right, so um, the other thing you want to check on this screen is right here, which is the frequency that we're recording in. And it's operating at 44.1 over 16, and I won't get into all the technical stuff of that. It's just that's the, uh, that's the frequency that we want to record at. It's a high quality, um, it's stereo quality. Um, and it's really about transfer and bit rates and I don't understand all that, but just, you know, you want it to say 44.1 over 16 and there's ways in which you can change that. The other thing we want to make sure is that we're recording in WAV format. Um, and that will scroll across the screen when we hit record, it'll tell you what we're recording in. So, you know, when you get this, make sure you know how to turn it on, make sure your batteries are good, make sure it has an SD card. Make sure it's in 44.1 over 16, and then you're generally good to go. It's, it's, it's pretty easy. From there, you hit record one time and see how the light's flashing. You're in standby mode, so it's not recording, but you can check your audio level. See, as I'm talking, uh, you can hear. Uh, you can see that the, the audio levels are going up and down. And because it's in stereo mode, it's using both speakers right now. Um, and uh, most of the time, your basic recorders, it's just one speaker. It's just one line in. So this is a much better quality. The other thing that's happening, I don't know if you can see yet, yeah, is the for file format is scrolling across. So it says WAV, we're good to go. Right frequency, da 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 da. So here's the tricky thing. One and two are lit. And the first time I used this, I thought that meant that it would, it's, we're good to go, we'd automatically record. What you got to do on the, if you're facing this, on the right hand side, there's a menu button. So I press menu and you can see it brings up options. Then you got to use the wheel, which is in the top right, to go up and down. Okay. I want to go to input and then I press the wheel down and it will give me a bunch of options. For this, to make sure you have power and it records from these two lapel mics, you got to scroll down to where it says phantom. Okay. And you want it to be on. Okay. The first time I did this, uh, phantom was off, meaning no power was going to these. And therefore when I recorded a whole interview, nothing was recorded. Um, and so it's on the power that's showing 48. I think that's volts and that's what we want. That's fine. So we should be good to go. Um, press the menu button again, and you get out of it. 
Um, and then what I would just double check for your SD card, click on folder, oops, uh, then click on file, it's not recording yet. Oh, you know, I gotta, do, I gotta press stop, sorry. So press stop, if it's in standby mode, it won't show you the file. Click file and see it tells you no file. So that's important just to make sure that you don't record over an interview that's already on the SD card. Make sure it's a new file and it should be, but just to double check, right? So just make sure your record button's off. So I'm out of standby mode right now. Okay. So click on folder. You can see it gives you a bunch of different folders. So, you know, I would just make sure now loading, then go to file and it shows that nothing's in that folder. So you're good to go. It'll record a new file. So click out of the menu button to get out of there. Okay. Now I got power to my mics. Uh, I'm in standby mode. What I would do is I would put the headphones on and you plug the headphones into the line right here on the right hand side. So now I can hear what these mics are doing and it comes out really, really clear. Um, so then I can check the audio levels and I can adjust where it says on the right hand side, it says record levels. So I'm going to get my lovely assistant to come here for a second. Okay. Be no, you don't have to be seen. Clip the, the lapel mics on. She's going to clip that lapel mic on. I'm going to point this at her, although I don't know that it really matters because we're using the mics. Okay, it's still blinking, so I'm not recording anything. I'm good to go. The SD card's in. We got battery power. We're in stereo mm -hmm. mode. The Hertz, uh, the wavelength, everything's good. We're not recording over anything else. We got a clear file. Um, and so now we will hit record. So the red light is solid. You can see the runtime. And so you're recording, right? And why don't you say something? I just came into the kitchen for a cup of coffee. So she's coming into my right ear. My voice with the lapel mic is coming onto the left ear. Uh, everything is clear and we are recording. Um, and so, It'll record uh, for a good while, obviously, until you're finished. Um, there's a couple things you can do. When you're done recording, you can hit the stop button, and that will end it. Uh, the other thing you can do is if you know the person needs to take a break, you can hit the pause button. So now it's recorded. The light is blinking, so you're back in standby mode. So if they need to get a water or use the bathroom, when they come back, uh, just hit the play button and now you're recording again, solid red light. So it's pretty daggum easy. Um, once you get started, you just gotta learn how to hook everything up. Um, and then when, like I said, when you're finished recording, boom. So now I'm not recording, the time has stopped and an easy way to check this is go back, click on the menu, okay? Use the wheel. Find the folder, folder one, okay, then go to file, boom, now you have a file, that's the interview. So it's a good thing to check, and I would do a practice run before you ever start to, to make sure that you know how to do all this. Um, and that you, you know, I would even have them do a test um, conversation really quickly, you know, press stop, go into file, Go into, uh, go into folder, go into file, make sure you see something, delete it, and you just scroll down with the wheel, and you delete it, and then you're good to go again. Um, so I hope the video helps. Um, it's pretty simple once you know how to do it, um, but it does take some, some practice. So I would make sure before you do an interview and you go on the interview that you um, practice with it. And you have the headphones, you have the SD cards, you have this, you have the two lapel mics, and you have backup power. Um, take some extra batteries if you need to. Okay? All right. Thanks.